needs a simple and comprehensive solution similar to the one that allowed radio to succeed. What, what made Napster amazing is that one person who has a certain taste would go and share something with the rest of the community and it was instantly available to everybody. So what happens is you end up with uh, a sharing system that's based on quality music and less on stuff being pushed, pushed at you from radio or MTV. The reason Dispatch is amazing uh, it, it wasn't really a fluke. The music is great, and they've been they've worked really hard. They toured. They played a lot of small venues. But the problem is they still didn't have access to a distribution system. And once Napster came around, because they had great music, it was able to propagate out to people in areas that they had never played where they don't have CDs in storage. They'll show up in Syracuse one night for a show. They've never been there, and there'll be 500 kids singing every every word of every song. <laughs> you're, you're like, hey, how did? How do you guys know this music? We, you know, we have maybe 20 copies of the record in, a, in an indie record shop. Yet there's, you know, there's hundreds and even thousands of kids showing up. Again, I, there's no better example than this. Whatever Napster was, like Dispatch, was a band that blew up through file sharing. Recording Artist Coalition believes that Congress should examine the possibility of expanding artist performance rights to include interactive services. We're like. Behind Alanis Morissette and then behind Don Henley and Chuck D sitting right in front of us. And, I mean, it was surreal. It's all these big wigs and famous people talking all the talk, you know what I mean? I'm sitting in the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing room. There's a hearing that is primarily about Napster and the record industry's efforts to get rid of it. At that time, you know, it's, it's, it's too bad that we didn't do a better job of embracing and managing the technology at the time.